What's up everybody, Collector Kev here, back again with another video. Today, we're gonna show you how you can play your PS2 discs on your PC, and basically in the same step, how you can make backup copies of your CDs or discs and make them digital files so that you can play them, put them on hard drives, whatever you wanna do, let's get right into it. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Link is in the description down below. We're gonna grab Image Burn. Just go ahead and hit the download tab. Download to pop up. As you can see right here, there's a bunch of mirrors and you can go ahead and select whatever one, your language, etc., and simply download it. Once installed, you're gonna be met with this menu right here. You got a bunch of options to choose from, but we're gonna click create image file from disk. Now for this, you are gonna need obviously a disk drive or CD drive in your PC. We don't have any disk drives. Which today a lot of people don't have those old PC setups. If you don't, Amazon has like 20, $25 ones right here. I'll throw them up, bam, bam. And those are simple to work. They just are plug and play. Pop in my PS2 disk. I'm putting in Simpsons Hit and Run for the PS2, an absolute classic. Everyone loves that game. If you don't, there's something wrong with you. Something's wrong with you. So I got everything loaded up, read speed max. I got it on 8X. You can lower it if you wanna feel safer. I'm gonna go ahead and select where I want that backup file to save and just click this button where you see the disc and it's gonna go ahead and start taking the data right off of that disc and putting it onto a file on your PC. As you can see right here on the bottom, the image burn log, it has everything that it's doing. I fast forwarded for the video's sake because we don't want to sit here for 10 minutes watching a screen go down, like watching paint dry. No one wants to do that. But now we have a backup file of our PS2 game. It's now a digital file. We can actually play that digital file right on our computer. If you don't know about PCSX2, it's a PS2 emulator and it works really well. It's been around for years. I've used it for years, talked about it many times. There's a link in the description down below for that as well. Go ahead and grab that. And what you're going to need to do is use Google to search for a BIOS. Everything works fine, but you do need to go ahead and search for the BIOS for the PCSX2. Google it. I cannot put a link down to that because again, copyright issues, but a simple Google search will find that BIOS. Once we have that BIOS put into our PCSX2, we can launch it right up. And as you can see, I have backup copies and digital files of some of my PS2 games, like Harry Potter, Simpsons Hit and Run, things like that, Bully, Absolute Classic, Kingdom Hearts, some of my favorites growing up, some of my favorites still today. But we're gonna use the Simpsons that I showed you, and if I click the file just like that, just like I had a disc in, it's gonna load up my PS2 game, and I'm playing basically my PS2 copy of my disc on my computer. And not just that, I now have a backup of it for future reference, so if something happens to my disc, if I lose it, if it gets scratched, I now have that backup copy, I can play it on my PS2 or I can burn it onto another copy and make more copies of it if you have a jailbroken PS2 with Free McBoot, which I have videos on that as well. So yeah, this is a simple video, but a useful video. How you can get backups of your digital files. We want to preserve some of our games and stuff like that. So simple and sweet. We got backup copies of our games. We're going to preserve them. We can also now play them digital files. We can burn them on other things, put them on a hard drive or USB, whatever you want to do. Thanks again for tuning in. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment down below if it helped. I'll catch you on the next video. This is Collector Kev, and I'm out.